Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mari and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is a combination of things that you have all been requesting me to do, namely my foundation routine, the current one, and also a first impressions video. I was so nervous and so reluctant to film the first impressions because I've never done it before, but luckily it turned out great and I relied on some heavy hitters. The Violet Voss palette and this beautiful Jouer palette both of these are new. It was my first time using them on camera today and well, I guess you have to watch the tutorial to find out whether I'm obsessed with it or not. In other news, do you guys see how well this palette matches my nails? Is this not the cutest thing ever? Speaking of my nails, you guys are always asking me how do I have time for nail art with all the traveling that I do? Well, this is what I'm using. My In Coco nail polish appliques. These are real polish appliques. I've been a fan of these for years. This style here is a French tip style. It's called Cat's Meow, and it's just perfect for every occasion. I believe these are available at Walmart for under seven bucks, which is pretty crazy. Anyway, let's get to this tutorial. I am excited. I hope you are as excited as I am. I hope you like it. Leave me all your questions, comments down below as always. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoy this one. So, foundation routine, let's begin. I am going to start with my Lancome Advanced Genifique. Yes. You guys know how much I love this stuff. Not only is it a youth activating serum, but it just also feels really good on the skin, plumps the skin, refines it, and wears really well under makeup because it absorbs so quickly. Love, love this stuff. It's very pricey. So I have an alternative that I like to use, which you can see in my drugstore tutorial. I link it down below as well. For my foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done. This product has been around for a long time, but I just recently started using it, and I can't believe how amazing it is. It's perfect for the warmer months of the year, for the summertime, because it has SPF 20, and really that's what it's meant to do. It's meant to protect your skin, but the coverage, the coverage is so incredible that you really don't need anything else. So I just apply it liberally, kind of like this. Then I use my spinning brush that I've been obsessing over and just blend it out all over. If you guys notice, my skin on my face is a lot lighter than the skin on my body. It's just always been this way. But this color, medium dark, it matches my neck so good that I don't even need to blend it down. I'm zooming in real close for you guys today. Real close. Really want you to appreciate and learn. I just realized I forgot my primer. What's wrong with me? This is what I've been using lately. It's uh, the Urban Decay Quick Fix Priming Spray. It's really amazing. Um, you can even use it on top of your makeup to refresh in it. So no biggie. I'm just gonna <laughs> Use it on top. Why not for my concealer the usual Tarte Shape Tape Love this stuff. I mean if I love something I don't sway from it. That's just what I continue using And This stuff is the bomb diggity. I Love it and I take the lighter shade which is light medium. So typically I use medium and then if I want to brighten it anywhere, like in this area or this area, I use a slightly lighter shade, which is light medium. A Little bit around the mouth, you know, this whole area here, a little bit under, yeah, yeah. So I like to blend everything out with a sponge, but once I get to the eyes, I take this little brush, you see it? It's like a angled fluffy brush. It's from Bedellium Tools. It's really great for this little groove under the eye. It fits in there really perfectly. I've been loving it for the super delicate under eye area. Sometimes a sponge can't reach certain crevices. That's why I started using the brush. And I find that it works really well. Don't have to use this exact brush, just something similar. Something that's very soft and delicate and just buff it out. Laura Mercier for the under eye. I like to set that pretty quickly. 
because I want to avoid any creases or crevices. And then I sort of move on to the rest of my face. Big fluffy brush. And just swirl it around. Next is my Pixie Strobe and Bronze. Basically going to add a little bit of warmth to the perimeter of my face. Add that subtle contour using my matte bronzers. A little bit right here. I actually have just a bit of a tan, so I'm gonna use this shade, Statuesque. And I'm going to add it just to my hairline. Not only to make everything more seamless, but to also fill in my hairline. Add a more appropriate touch of color. For the contour, my strobe and sculpt, picking up the tiniest amount of Boss Lady. I think I picked up a little too much, so I'm just gonna add it under my nose, under my lip right here. Little area right here. <laughs> and just along the sides of my nose. Hey, that's good. For my blush, I'm gonna be using my Benefit California. I've been using it since I discovered it when it came out while we were in Necker Island. It's the perfect peachy coral blush. It has a subtle shimmer, but not too much that it will uh, enhance or um, highlight your texture if you have textured skin. It's just enough to give you that glow without actually making your skin look worse. Because sometimes shimmery blushes tend to do that. They tend to highlight uneven texture or acne or whatnot. This one is not like that. That's why I love it, it's been my jam, it's been my jam. And then, this is what I've been doing lately. This is what I've been doing lately. Yes, I'm so excited and I'm so proud of Manny and Jeffrey for creating Eclipse. I have been using Eclipse since the day that I got it. It has been my go-to, it is so good, it is so pretty. And to be honest with you, I'm not that familiar with Jeffrey's highlighters, I only own one other one. But if they are all as bomb as Eclipse, girl, let me tell you, I need the full collection. Because these are poppin', poppin'. And you know, whatever Manny touches turns to gold. <sighs> Obsessed with this one. <laughs> Hello. So super proud of them both. So this is another one of my faves currently. This is what I've been using. Actually, it's the only highlighter that I brought with me to Coachella, so I was wearing it every day for that glow. Love this one, it's perfect for all skin tones. Do you see? Do you see? <laughs> Obsessed. Foundation is now complete. I am going to do my brows and I will be right back with my first impressions. Eyes and lips. Okay, so now we've come to the fun part of this tutorial, unless of course you thought that the foundation routine was the fun part, but in case you're here for the first impressions, here is the fun first impressions part. I'm really nervous to do this because I've never really done a tutorial with first impressions. I'm always afraid that I'm gonna find something that I don't like and I don't like to be negative, you know? But anyway, enough talking, let me just jump right into it <sighs> for my primer. For my primer, I am gonna be using one of these new Smashbox primers. There's a full array of them. They range from light, medium, and deep, and they also have a white and a smoke. So I'll do the smoke on my actual lid. Oh my God, this is so nerve wracking. What is this? This is really unique. I'm gonna use that same brush that I use for my under eye concealer to blend that out. Might have applied a little too much, but you know, it's my first time, so I'm learning. This is a unique product. I've actually never really seen anything like it. I would say next time I use it, I'm gonna use a lot less and I'm gonna build it up in case I need more because it's almost like an eyeshadow base. It's very potent and it sets rather quickly. So one eye at a time next time. Do you think I need a little bit of that medium to blend it out right here? Yes, yes, 
covers veins too. I'm gonna use this Jouer palette. It is called Springtime in Paris. Pick up this shade first. I'm gonna pop that right in. Girl, that was a lot of pigment. Again, first time using this palette too. There's a lot of fallout, but there's also a lot of pigment. Next, I'm gonna pick up this shimmery shade right here. I feel like I need to clean up that brow bone. Oh, baby, that is pigment. I was not expecting all that. I truly wasn't. So far, I'm really impressed. Just gonna make sure I blend that out. I'm gonna pick up this giant. Violet Boss Ride or Die palette. It's so big, it doesn't even fit. This shade, Leslie. I'm just gonna use that as an in-between shade right here. Yes, yes, much better. So hard to play around with new makeup when you're not familiar with it. You really end up taking a lot longer than you typically would. But you know, this is my first time discovering it along with you guys. I'm gonna stick to the ride or die palette. I'm gonna pick up this shade right here, Amy. Just gonna start packing it to the outer corner and also to the inner corner of my lid. This is very, very pigmented, very smooth. I knew I would love the Ride or Die palette. Not really sure how much it retails for, but I imagine it's not that expensive, considering how many shadows are in this palette and the quality. I'm gonna go back to the Springtime in Paris palette. This one. I'm gonna pick up this Vibrant Blue. Whoa, baby! This is a pigmented blue. Jouet, you are not playing. I'm impressed. Going to now pick up a little bit of this lavender, just a little. I'm gonna apply it to those borders between the blue and the red. Really pretty color too. Why do I choose complicated looks for a first impressions video? Why? Girl, where are we going tonight? Pretty, 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 pretty. Mm. I wanna test out one more shade in the palette, this deep blue, navy. Just wanna add it to the very, very corners. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that neutral shade. Smoke it out right under. Then I'm gonna take this pencil from Rimmel. My first time using it. Line this waterline. Going to tight line as well. Tight lining stuff, it is dangerous business. But this pencil glides pretty nicely actually. I think I might wanna add just a touch of that vibrant blue in the center of the lower lash line, just right here to bring everything together. Another product I've never tried before. This one is the Scandalized Mascara from Rimmel. Pretty good, pretty good, nothing too crazy. Nothing to go home and cry about. Very clean mascara. For my lashes, I am going to be using these Ardell Faux Mink lashes. Faux Mink sounds promising, I've never used these before. So, oh, it comes with a four pack, not even a two pack. That's nice. I'm also going to need to curl them just a bit. They seem very straight, so I'm gonna place them in my curler and I'm gonna curl these babies. All right, for my lash glue, I'm gonna use this uh, Duo Lash Adhesive in Dark Tone. I haven't used this one in a while. The last time I used it was a few years ago when I first started experimenting with lashes. I don't know if they've made any changes to it or if it's still the same formula considering how quickly the makeup industry moves. Might as well be my first time using it. Okay, these lashes are on and they are surprisingly natural. They say mink, but they really feel like Lashes 101. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit of this mascara on top, which I usually never ever do. But these look so natural that I feel like they could just use it. They look like they're my lashes, which could be a good thing a good thing for some people, but I personally prefer something a little bit more dramatic, if you will. I'm gonna use this new gel liner from Natasha Denona. Just came in the mail. I'm just gonna conceal this lash band ever so slightly. Final, final touch, I'm gonna add a little bit of this bright blue glitter liner. This one's also from Natasha Denona. And I'm gonna add it just to the center of the lid. I want it to look like stars, like beautiful blue stars. 
on a midnight sky. For the lips, I wanna do something pretty neutral. I'm gonna go with Beautiful Creations from Huda Beauty. I love it. Okay, so at this point, I think I'm done with the look. I'm gonna go and do my hair and maybe I'll film that. Maybe, if you guys are lucky. And I'll be right back with the final. Hair is done. I just finished filming a tutorial on the space bun, so check that out. I will link it down below. I am so happy that this look turned out as nice as it did. I was actually a little bit nervous. I don't like trying new things on camera. I've actually never done so before, but I'm happy that I relied on some great quality products like Violet Voss, like Jouer, and they came through, they came through. I am obsessed with this look. It is festive, it is pretty, it is nighttime appropriate, and I think it's even daytime appropriate if you're into that sort of thing. Anyway, I hope you guys really like this tutorial. Let me know if you want me to film more of these. I definitely wanna do a first impressions video, full face edition, so that will be coming up. I love you guys so much, Mwah. till next time.